G'day folks. Uh, what we have here is some of the Allen Bradley electronic uh, or industrial electrical control equipment that I've been scrapping out of a old uh, automatic saw bench. Uh, unfortunately it got a bit mangled, well I think before it showed up at the junkyard and definitely after. Like someone has hatcheted this control panel before it arrived, like a while ago, but all this buckling and bending and all the backs of the switches getting ripped off was unfortunately part of what happened after it got there. So, yeah, I found it upside down pinned between the front of a uh, Mitsubishi Verada and a uh, big metal frame. So, the rest of the unit's so badly, uh, well, I wouldn't call it safe to access. If it does move, it's going to probably fall on me. So, I won't get the rest of the PLCs, possibly a few variable frequency drives and a few other things in there. I will uh, make sure to get that tomorrow. I might just have to uh, get someone with the excavator to move the car and, well, then we'll be able to get into the goodies. But yes, I grabbed this simply because it has a giant um, vacuum fluorescent display in it. And it doesn't seem to require much to drive it. Unless other wires have been ripped off, which they don't appear to have. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got power input and RS-232. These other connectors don't seem to have ever had anything attached to them. Yeah. That's it. It's all it needs is 240 volts and three wires, RS-232 serial COM port. So that's not too bad. I'll make these cables safe to run and connect a bit of power up to it and we'll see what happens. That one there is pretty badly damaged but I'll strip the control out of the board and I'll put 24 volts to this link coupler. And yeah, Alan Bradley stuff is not cheap so it's a shame to see that someone's hacked it with something that's definitely not a scrapyard damage considering the rest of the panel. Someone's actually hacked that with something. So that's a bit of a pain. But anyway, let's see what we can do. Alright, well, I gave it a bit of a clean up inside. Nicely built, good quality stuff. And fairly old looking componentry. I can see why they didn't manage to break the bloody VFD itself. That glass is a quarter of an inch thick. That is one tough little display panel. Doesn't look like they hit it with the hatchet though. They would have broken it if they did that. It looked more like someone had hit the plastic with a uh, like a screwdriver handle or a piece of timber. It came out of a lumber yard, so yeah, probably hit it with a big stick. I ain't gonna break that glass in a hurry. So yeah, the VFD appears to be intact. Whether or not it's broken solder joints is another matter, but we'll power it up and see what happens. As they say, unlimited power. I mean, I'm gonna turn it on now. The red light. Oh, look at that. Testing unit 3.0 battery, <laughs> mainboard battery. There's no keyboard. There is actually a uh, looks like a telephone socket or a, um, sorry, an ethernet socket for a keyboard. Uh, I don't have a keyboard, unfortunately. <laughs> so I don't really know what to do with that. That's pretty cool though. It works. Shame about the diffuser being destroyed, but you can read that. 9600 board modem. <laughs> Definitely old school. But it is working. Uh, yeah, if anyone's got any in or input on how to perhaps rig this thing up to work, let me know. I've never ever seen one of these before. I will do some uh, googling, but that little socket down there is a keyboard socket. So I'll have a bit of a rummage around at the junkyard and see what I can find. Yeah, see it's not going to do anything until I uh, give it some kind of a input signal. It's kind of neat. So yeah, that one there, I'll worry about it a little bit later. I want to get this area cleared up and do some decent work at the moment because it's just an absolute mess. 
but at least I know this is not just an autopsy victim it's actually going to be something that I keep and no I'm not selling it <laughs> something like this well that's just you don't come across this sort of stuff every day regular little VFDs yeah but this little device well it's got big dollars written all over it and I ain't buying a new one so why not make use of an old one especially if I can plug it into a computer mind you it's probably already pre-programmed with those ROM chips so I don't know how far I'd get plugging it into a computer but well who knows I'll be able to do something through to it through the uh, RS-232 port so anyway that's all for that one stay tuned later for this one I might just separate it from the panel and strip that down tonight just to get rid of it get rid of whatever bits and pieces I can salvage from it it's got all the uh, controls and things ready to cut, manual auto, start sequence, abort sequence slow fast, back one sequence source start, offset, back off forward fence reverse off forward oh, momentary rotary switches angle, yeah so yeah I'll part that out and this thing here well who knows <laughs> that lithium battery might be rechargeable so if I leave it plugged in it might stay happy for a while I'm not too sure anyway that's all for that one and thanks for watching hmm on a final note I had a closer look at this and it is a membrane pad it does have metal discs in there but yeah it's not micro switches on a backboard or anything and as you can see the uh, attack was quite devastating that trace is severed several of those are and just removing it tore the uh, ribbon off the board anyway so it's of no practical use this was part of the system this might have been the interface but the cables the way this thing was set up this cable went back into the main cabinet first and then came out so this doesn't couple directly with the display unit but it's part of it, it's probably the main interface panel that you get so without this working well I don't think that uh, display unit would be much use it probably communicates on its own specific language uh, knowing what these companies are like, like Alan Bradley uh, you wouldn't just be able to couple that up to a computer and do whatever you want with it so that's sort of an autopsy thing when I get time <laughs> anyway Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be doing much with this display unit, but I will try. It would make a nice little addition to the uh, back computer bench. <laughs>